Welcome to your weekly UAS News Update, Halloween edition. We have three stories for you this week, Skybrass Freemium, new upcoming rules for recreational pilots, and finally, we have a DJI update for the Mavic 3 Classic, the Air 2S, and the Mini 3 Pro. Let's get to it. And our first story this week is Bobby Yuyang from Skybrass. Uh, Skybrass has a new product. Now, if you're not familiar with Skybrass, they provide the ability to do 3D models using videos, which is different than anybody else on the market right now. And not only that, but they do them very quickly. So, Bobby, welcome to the show again. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit more about this new offering that you have. I heard it's called Freemium, uh, obviously something free. Uh, Skybrow is offering new stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the mission of Skybrows is really to democratize 3D modeling and reality capture so that anyone can use it with uh, no training. So um, we started off by making it really quick. It takes about five minutes total to process a 3D model on our cloud. And also really easy, just one button press. You know, you fly your drone above something, you press start, and the drone flies itself. And you get that one video file to upload to our servers. And now we're making it free and accessible for everyone. So we released a new tier earlier this week called Freemium. And basically, you still get all of the premium features when you start a, a two-week free trial by st uh, making an account with Skybrows. And afterwards, you get converted into a freemium account, which allows you still to make unlimited 3D models with Skybrows. So uh, this just allows more people to explore 3D modeling and uh, you can do it free of charge. You can get your models and uh, see them forever. So what are the things that you can do in the paid version that you can't in the free version? So on the paid version, we have a lot of different tools, uh, primarily designed around accident investigation and for public safety. However, there's a lot of other use cases outside of that because it's 3D modeling. So uh, you have annotations, measurements, uh, slope map, heat maps, range finders, and uh, being able to export into other uh, formats and other softwares as well. So that's all part of the premium package, which you still get for two weeks when you sign up for an account. So you can play around with the full features. And if you just want to make 3D models to, you know, show off to your kids or, you know, show it to some real estate agents, you can still do that. I just won't have any uh, measurements on it um, for freemium. Gotcha. So we actually had a few students in our uh, uh, group that we just created for the people that do mapping. And um, they were asking, is this something that I can be using just to practice and learn about mapping and kind of get started? What do you think? Oh, absolutely. We're really trying to make it as easy as possible to make a 3D model. And, you know, in the past, 3D modeling required all sorts of PhDs and case studies and all sorts of white papers and whatnot. And now we've just, you know, simplified it really, boiled it down to one button press, two minute drone flight, two minute processing time. So, you know, within five minutes, you should be able to get a 3D model really quickly just for people to play around with, explore and potentially use for uh, enterprise use cases in the future. Awesome. So where can people find more information about the product and uh, get signed up? Yeah, check out uh, skybrows.com. If you go there, it's sky, spelled S-K-Y-E, browse.com. Uh, check that out. You can find more information about our product, uh, which drones we support. Spoiler alert, it's just about all of them uh, on the DJI and Autel side. And then um, you can also download the app on the App Store, which has... 4.8 stars out of over 150 reviews out there. And also on the uh, Google Play Store, which has, um, I think, over 1,000 downloads already. And then, yeah, you can check that out uh, for Smart Controller. Just email us, and we can send you the APK if you have a DJI Enterprise drone, if you want to try Skybrows on that. And, um, yeah, looking forward to having more people test out Freemium because when we released Freemium earlier this week, I think as of today, we had over 1,000 new users sign up and just pump out a bunch of 3D models. So really excited to see what y'all figure out with uh, this new product. Awesome. Well, I'm sure there will be a lot more after this video. So thanks for joining us, Bobby, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for having me. For the second story, let's talk about new potential rules for recreational pilot. This is kind of a big deal. The FA released a new advisory circular, AC9157 Charlie, which finally sets guidance for selecting community-based organization called CBOs. As planned four years ago, the FA will soon be approving CBOs and their guidelines. Now remember that by law, you have to select a CBO guideline if you're flying your drone for recreational purposes. And these guidelines are going to be quite in depth according to this new document. Now, we've got a full video out to explain all of that, and I'll be honest, there are a lot of changes. We'll leave a link down in the description to the Drone Excel article and to the advisory circular in itself, but be sure to watch the video because this is an important one. 
And your final story this week is kind of a combo story. The first portion is the Mavic 3 Classic. The alleged release date is, well, yesterday as you're watching this, so I guess we'll find out if this is the case or not. There haven't been many leaks on the Mavic 3 Classic, but we're thinking that there may be more when we get closer to release. Either way, leaks are currently showing a price of $1,400 and the compatibility with the RC, the DJI RC, the one that came with the Mini 3 Pro. We'll keep you updated if we learn more and then if we see any more leaks. The second part of this is the DJI Air 2S is also in the news. Leaks show it bundled with the DJI RC. This would be an awesome update once it comes to the US market. We anticipate this will happen before Black Friday, but time will tell. And then the third portion of this story is an update to the DJI Fly app. While we normally don't talk about firmware updates, this is kind of a big one because it's linked to Remote ID. Once it's updated, Remote ID can no longer be disabled and this version 1.7.8 is required to fly in the United States. Other features include ISO priority and support for the master shots in portrait mode. And that's it. That's all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments down below. We're always happy to answer your question and we'll see you guys next week. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs>